Welcome to my call time MTG room from your draft. We're gonna go with some draft picks. Hey, thanks for the follow. It's Yohuk. I appreciate it. Sorry about the yelling. Ooh, 3-3 three, three flyer. Also a 3-3 three, three flyer. Hmm, let me take this 3. I'll take this 3-3 three, three flyer. Hey, I'm glad that you were able to catch the stream. So yeah, I mean, this is like a 3-3 three, three flyer flash. I think that's good. Enough. And like, sometimes you get to do cool things with foretell, but... It makes foretelling cheaper, it doesn't make actually playing the card cheaper, but it's definitely still good. Right? I think I like Shepherd of the Cosmos. You can do some cool things with like, uh, um, oh, it's a lockout deck, that's why it's banned from. Hey, the Rebel Bruce. What? Somebody passed Immersturm Predator, by the way. Sorry about the yelling. Why would someone pass Immersturm Predator? Someone explain. I mean, I'm going to take it. I don't know if I'm playing this card or this card, but they pass it because of black cards. This is insane, though. This card's insane. Black is bad, yeah. No, this card's insane. No, these are human drafts now, Tofu. They they, they just have... There's, there's human drafts and there's bot drafts. There's no, like, asynchronous draft, per se. Spirit of the Alder Guard or Draugr's Helm. The timer is like right there below the cards, FYI. Like, like where, like, sorry, it's below the cards. I want Draugr's Helm or Spirit Oligarch. I really like Spirit Oligarch, but I think Draugr's Helm is good with my Predator. Because I will take bad black cards to play Predator. So rules pack mate, that's really insane. Pick four. Now I wish I took that spirit of all regards. Yeah, there's nothing else I want. These black cards are bad. This is really good because basically two for one. Good Runa might feed the serpent. Hmm. Four, five faction, good stuff, yeah. I could just take the Volatile Fjord if I really want to do something super greedy. Or just take Feed the Serpent. Feed the Serpent and just Splash the Predator is actually a good strategy, I think. I do like Runamite a lot. I think if it was like a green-red land or a black-red one, I'd probably take the land here. But I'll take a Feed the Serpent. These are bad black cards again. It's like an okay blue card. I think Way Down is a little bit better than Wither Crown usually. Not. I, I don't think we're playing the Cosmos Charger anymore. Way down. Ice tunnel or just bleh. Maybe we're just Grixis again. And I want the ice tunnel. I think I want ice tunnel over like these two cards. I, I don't really like Frost Augur that much. No covered islands. Medium blue cards and effigy. I don't have really any reason to play no cards. And green seems like it dried up, but I'll take the island. Raise the dongers. Candle master. I have no common types, do I? Hmm. Take the dongers, I think. Forest, depart the realm. Medium green cards. I don't think green is open. I think somebody was just decided, like three people were like, they don't want to take Souls Pack May for some reason. Really bizarre. Let's 
Soul Cairns wield, which is great. We'll definitely play it. If red's open. That's the thing is red might not be open is the issue. I've played this card, it's been like okay. You can like sacrifice it and stuff. I don't know. Maybe we're still black red, I don't know. The blue cards aren't really that exciting. Yeah, these, are, these are like whatever. Black green lands. The green was not open at all last pack. Which is kind of the problem. Like I don't really want to go to green for any of these. Like I don't really want to splash like a Cerals pack mate. And he's good, so I don't want to splash it. We're just going to take this Snow-covered swamp or Yarl the Forsaken. I really need to get some things that combo with Yarl the Forsaken before I want to play it. Right. Yeah, the blue-black is usually where you want to play zombies, right? Replicating Ring is like only, only kind of okay. I'm going to take the swamp, I guess, speculatively. Urge's Retribution. So people aren't in... Uh, they are not in um, black-white, I guess, which is really insane. I don't think I can go into white, because white was cut last pack, too. So now I'm looking at, like, a Immersturm Raider or blank. We don't have any giants for Agar. I don't think I want to take Frost Augur yet. This is really awkward. We don't even have, like, damage spells to go with it, which makes that bad, right? I'm just like the first is Retribution, because, I don't know, maybe we something weird with it. Wash, Elder Fang, Disciple, Mistwalker. Hmm. Old Vein pick, let's face Flash, Emberstorm, Predator, if I'm thinking like you're along those lines. I don't mind like a Mistwalker though. Or Mistwalker's a good one. Nexus, Bergstrider. Elven Bow. So green is open this direction. We actually have three snow lands. I think Bergstrider is pretty good here. Sulfurous Miler is perfect because it lets me potentially splash the Immersturm Predator. Liberator and Immersturm Raider are decent. Like, whatever. I guess I take a zombie card. I don't have anything for Frostpire Arcanist now, but I might have some later. Pretender doesn't have any targets right now. We're just on blue black stuff, I guess. I think white was really cut, so I don't think that's gonna get to play this Virgil's Retribution. Right. Blue black is mostly like a zombie tribal color. Really? This is like an agar. I'm not gonna play anything else there. Yeah. This deck is this deck is not looking great, but yeah, these are all bad. Green hasn't looked really open either. I'm not really sure what's going on in this draft. I, I think if we get enough changelings, maybe Agar is playable, but I don't think it is. Like, I don't think you really want to splash Agar. Maybe you can do it in, like, Teamer and stuff sometimes, because, like, you're probably just going to have, like, a bunch of um, Craven Hulks in your Teamer deck. So it kind of works out.
That's really insane. I see a lot of more people playing Seize the Spoils now compared to like a while ago. FYI. If we get like a bunch of those 3-2 zombies, I'm more into potentially playing like a Raider's Carve. For good shadow, to hold the multiverse. White blue land. Grim Draugr. I think I want this Behold the Multiverse to try and, like, fix the deck a little bit. One issue that I have with Turgid Shadow is, like, I'll play it and then I just don't have any... Ooh, I got Pasakosama. Yes. I also have Bind the Monster and Elder Fang Disciple are cards I play. Mori is pretty decent, but I'm not in those colors. Like a god card. Another Draugr's Helm or a Behold the Multiverse. Well, I played two Draugr's Helms. They have one, right? One another Behold the Multiverse to try and find stuff. I mean, you have to treat these uh, Draugr's Helms like five drops mostly, right? How many 4-4 Menaces will I play? Maybe some number? I don't know. Grim Draugr? This could be a splash. If I really want to go that way. But I don't think I really want to splash too many red cards. I think I just want to play, splash my Predator. And stuff. I feel the Skull Cairn's bad because I'm not going to have double red. We can cut it. Pick the uh, Grim Draugr, I think. Might be able to activate it a couple times. Ventral Reaper is pretty good. Find the monster would be fine too, but I, I really like Ventral Reaper. Passing a Bound and Gold and Bind the Monster. Snow Covered Island, Pin Seekers. What am I? Oh, I don't have enough creature, same creature type for a uh, kin seeker, do I? Is my only payoff is frost peak yeti, and it's like for for like snow creatures, I guess, or bird strider. I don't know. I mean, it looks bad. Like it looks like I don't have a lot of creatures, but I have two draugr's helms. Those are basically five drop creatures. Actually, it's like mist walker. It's really good. Find the monster here, I guess. Just to have one, access to one is fine. I don't really have cheap equipment to go on to Death Knell Berserker is a problem. Another one of the Yetis. Pilfering Hawk for like looting. We're gonna Grim Draugr. I have like four snow lands, so this might be on sometimes. You know, Grim Draugr. I've actually been kind of impressed by Grim Draugr. Like, it hasn't been like as terrible as I thought it would be. I don't think I'm playing two Depart the Realms. And the Grim Draugrs can get into the vehicle. I even have like Fortel cards, not really. This is a zombie, if I care about that. And again, they can see curse, so I probably don't actually care. I've just had Draugr's Helm and Dwarven Hammer be really, really good. You like the Carve getting two hits? Yeah. I mean, I guess I have some four power, some four drops that can crew the Carve, which makes it a little bit less bad. But not great. Also, this Arcanist is actual crap because I don't have um, I don't have any double spells. I think that was the reason I needed I needed to take the Behold the Multiverse so that this could become a double speller. But it's fine. These are basically five drop creatures. 
These drawbers helms, by the way. That's why I just really like drawbers helms because I've had like a lot. I've had some games where um, I wouldn't have won the game if I didn't have like drawbers helm to like try and like grind out like a little bit of incremental advantage or whatever because it just makes all your creatures a lot more threatening when you have like a drawbers helm on them. It's very slow. Is like the downside. It's extremely slow to do that, but yeah, we don't have like a lot of interaction, which is kind of poopy, but hopefully I can get like the mana fixing for the Immersturm Predator, we're kind of good there. Right. We have four snow land, no actually we have five snow land, so Frostbeak Yeti and Grim Draugr are actually okay with like five snow, I think. Uh, I've had people tell me they think that um, the Mist, the Hawk is really bad. I don't know. I don't think I need Rhyme Bear Intruder as much in this deck. I've, I've played it in a few decks, usually when you combo with like a uh, Jarl the Forsaken or. Um, Cause you can like blocks, like you can use this to like win a combat and then like just chump block with a 1-2 later and then use your the Forsaken to like finish off the creature that you chump blocked. Or um, you can you can like exchange the um, the Brian Barrow Intruder using um, Trickster God's Heist because I think that's one of the reasons, that's one of the things with like Trickster God's Heist that makes it either really good or really bad is um, when you have like creatures that you're like okay with trading away because because it's kind of bad that you're actually trading away like a real creature with the with the um trickster god types because i've had to do that before and i, I don't like that like i just want to have like a garbage creature like this deck would actually been pretty decent with, like a couple elder fang disciples to like fill out the ball on the curve i'd be pretty happy with that i, don't, I think we have like one foretell card in the entire deck right it's really awkward. No, Behold the Multiverse also. Yeah, Behold the Multiverse is our one foretell card, and like, Raise the Draugr doesn't really multi-hit a lot, but I guess it can, at the worst case scenario, might get back to Immersturm Predator, because so most of the time when they deal with Immersturm Predator, they either cast Bound and Gold on it, or they, um... They either cast Bound and Gold on it, or they, uh they exiled it, so it's like it's not even really that useful. I, just, I don't really like running to bind the monster most of the time, because I feel like the, the life loss really matters sometimes. Right? I don't mind like the bad 1-2 creature, just to, like maybe sacrifice the Immersturm Predator later, but this isn't like the best deck that I've drafted, I don't know, it's like, it's, it's like fine, we have like a little bit of, we have some stuff that's going on with the Kosama and the uh, Immersturm Predator. But anyways, thanks everyone for watching this YouTube video. If you like what you saw, please check out the stream at Twitch TV slash Mercurial Blue. I will see you sometime in the next video, but uh, alright, have a good evening.